interviews are opening keynote speaker Soheil Zandani, founder and chief happiness officer Learning Minds. Today, he will be shedding light on the scenario of no more jobs. Please welcome Soheil Zandani on stage. Pleasure being here and uh, the best thing about conferences is to get to see people that you haven't met in at least a hundred years. Uh, so it's, it's always delighting. Uh, I'm going to talk, uh, how much time do I have? It's 20 minutes, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, as I always do, I'm going to put some disturbing thoughts for you to process. Uh, if you successfully do that, fantastic, no, I'm off. Uh, but we'll start with uh, a story and then I'll come to my four point agenda for the day. So there was this pharmacy back in the US and uh, run by a Pakistani businessman. Um, so lunch time was lunch time, the wife asked him to take a house and he gave the counter and left for the home. When he came back, so just the, the public washroom that they had just next to their pharmacy, there was a boy who was banging the door like crazy. So he said, what is this? He said, he was our customer. He said, why is this door? 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 उसने कहा तो आपको तो पता है वहाँ सर के दर्द की दवा तो है नहीं उसने कहा ये सब ठीक है लेकिन दरवाजा क्यों पीट रहा है उसने कहा तो आपको पता है मेरे पास सर के दर्द की दवाई नहीं थी तो मैंने लैक्सेटिव्स दे दी और जिनको नहीं पता लैक्सेटिव्स क्या है लैक्सेटिव लूज मोशन करवाने की दवाई तो � and a lot of solutions that we are getting these days are somewhere around that. And I think uh, we need, it's a high time, particularly for our corporate HR fraternity, to start talking about things which are not fancy, which are real, the pain is real. And I will try to do my part to that and I see some amazing speakers lined up for the day, representing organizations who are trying fantastic things. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, that's a, I don't know, downside or an upside of being a trainer is that I will talk to you in, in a very structured agenda. So what we have done, I've taken some notes down, no PPT so that you can look at me and not the screen. But I'll talk to you about one fact, two factors, three challenges and four values. Make sense? I'll start with one fact first. And what is that fact? For organizations to be fit for future, they have to be fit for human. Any debates? Yeah. For organizations to be fit for future, they have to be fit for human. That's a fact. Uh, organizations after organizations are proving it. Uh, but now the question is that, is it really happening? Uh, are the organizations we know and we work for are fit for human? And problem is that, a lot of time people who are direct stakeholders are answering yes. But people down the line think something else. So for an example, I'll give you an example on this. We did a program for an insurance giant. Let's not take the name, you keep guessing. Um, so the program went well. I was sitting with the CEO. He said, Zindani, I want you to do an engagement survey for us. I said, fantastic. An average one would cost around 1.5 million, but a good one would cost around 2,000 or 3,000 max. He said 2,000 what? I got 2,000 rupees. He said, then why an average would cost 1.5 million? He said, because that would satisfy your ego. But for solution, you need at least 2,000 rupee investment. He said, what is that? He said, you keep a cigarette keep chain, huh? Why voice recorder install for you? The best place for organization. And then, if you have the courage, तो उन कॉन्वर्सेशंस को सुनो। वो जो इंगेजमेंट सर्वे होगा ना, वो आपका आम सर्वे दे नहीं सकेगा। यानी कि एंड वी ऑल नो हाउ टू फुल सर्वेस। वी हैव डन इट सो कंसिस्टेंटली वेल ओवर द इयर्स। बट यू नो व्हाट? 
what happens? Huh? Ashwin, what happens when you go home? You see your child pissed off. And then you give him a form. Beta, form fill karke batao how much pissed off you are. <laughs> it may not work. It may not work. So I think the first thing we need to start with is the industrial ideologies that we have. Uh, those are good to streamline, to, to make things in order. It's very important. But for being fit for future, organizations need to be more human. More human. So that's the first thing I want you to start with. But then there are two factors that I want to drop in. First factor, which also resonates with the topic that I have no more jobs, is that there are no more jobs anyways. Uh, finally, the world is saying no to painters and yes to artists. And there's a massive difference. The world is saying no to painters and yes to artists. But again, go back to that first point where I said that fit for future, fit for human. You don't get a Picasso masterpiece if you tell Picasso that submission time is 4 p.m. today. At least Picasso won't come up with a masterpiece. But we are so tuned with this painter mindset. It is the industrial mindset evolved from the efficiency thinking. And efficiency thinking says this must be done at this rate by this time. This is good for machine, not for creative process. It's a problem, right? So for example, for me to come up with a great idea by 4 o'clock, I can come up with an idea. And you know that won't be great, chances are. Yeah? So the first thing that's happening is, and I think we all have been witness to that, is that finally people are creating without permission. People are creating Without permission. So, for example, I'm working at Farmivo. I may be in finance division, but I feel that there is this product of Farmivo that has done great value or great service to me. Who would stop me at Farmivo to turn YouTube on my side and talk about it? No one. No one. Uh, a, a singer needed permission of music production houses to sing. Who is seeking permission now? Literally no one. <coughs> Literally no one. So I think there is something very interesting happening now. People are finally not taking permission. They are finally not hiding behind <coughs> structures for them to do work that matters. And I think that's a massive revolution which a lot of organizations are not, not able to cater to. Uh, how many of you have teenage children? Raise your hand. Those who are teenagers at home. <laughs> and rest of you are teenagers then. <laughs> so, when you go on any social media outlet, so for example, uh, Insta or Facebook or whatever, hmm? and you make a post, you make a post. Kitni der baad uska feed feedback hunte hai? Foreign, foreign. First, second, aapko lagta hai gunda bhai ko notice nahi kar rahi hai. You see? Lekin hota ye hai ki ye jab humari organization mein kaam karne aata hai na to ye generally mein jo harkat karta hai isko uska feedback december pe milta hai will be fresh. Aur agar aapko lag raha hai ki is dauran ye bore nahi hone wala then there is something wrong going up, right? There is something wrong going up. So the first aspect is that people are not taking permission and I think that's a good news. That's a good news for future. Organization may not like it for the short run, but interestingly, let me give you a straight threat to your jobs. If your job description can be written 100%, your job is at threat. Because if your job description can be written 100%, I can find a better, cheaper resource to do that. And even better, AI will help me do it anyways. Simple. If that can be written 100%. Okay? But the other factor which is also very important is that innovation. <laughs> Organizations, maybe a call center or a steel production house, are essentially organized around efficiency. <coughs> the entire industrial revolution wrote around efficiency. So, an oil and gas firm, very recently had a fantastic time with a CFO. He said, Sohil, we really want to be innovative. 
and efficient. Like you are saying, you really, you know, want to take bath without getting wet. Very difficult. Hey, innovation and efficiency are inversely proportional. They have nothing to do in common. Nothing. I mean, for sure, Tesla was not efficient. Yes or no? Abhi vichara apna Elon Musk bhai agar apne yaan kaam karna ho ta mein company ka naam nilita kyunke saare client hai. To woh behroos gaar ho kya ho ta? Itni zyada manus harkate karne ki wajah se woh behroos gaar ho kya ho ta? Or yeh toh bilkul hi non acceptable tha ki abhi toh gaadi bana rati hai maas jaisi baatte kyun kar rahe ho? That's not acceptable. Problem is that efficiency and innovation are inversely proportional. Now organizations were structured to make efficiency because the time industrial revolution happened, scale was a problem, scale was a challenge. Aaj, and by the way, I'm not ridiculing efficiency. Aaj hum sab ke jeet mobile hai, jo predictably kaam kar raha hai, is a product of that efficiency. Yes? But efficiency ne hami ek aur bhot interesting track diya, jisko Japan ne globally lead kiya. Wo kya track tha? Wo tha continuous improvement ka track. Continuous improvement is very important and that is a product of efficiency but then there is a radical innovation something that just changes the cars were getting fuel efficient until some rascal made fuel irrelevant <laughs> that's the problem with innovation yeah so by designing efficiency driven organizations will struggle with innovation third aspect and three challenges that organizations have today. First, is your ability to change with the speed of change. So I'll give you an example. So when this COVID thing happened, uh, uh, how many of you went from to an absolute work from home, raise your hand. Those organizations who went to complete work from home. How many of you went work from home क्योंकि 20th मार्च को आता तो आपने कहा 21st मार्च तो एक ही शगुन के तौर पे हम वर्क फ्रॉम होम कर ही लें एंड देन दिस स्टार्टेड एंड आई स्टिल नो सेट साफ्स वो आर बिजी करने से ये दफा ये फुले फिर बताएंगे अभी भी उसके दिमाग में ये ख्याल नहीं आ रहा है कि ये हो सकता है कोमेंट हो जाए वो अभी Yesterday, I was with a CXO at an insurance, general insurance firm and he told me that in 2018, the insurance business that was happening through global brokerage was 7%. 2019, it was 12%. 2022, we are anticipating it to be 35%. That is insurance being sold through global brokerages. I said, if you look at this number, if your insurance agent has not come to a hard attack, then what will you see? But we have not seen that transition happening. And in that brokerage house, how many people work in Karachi? As compared to insurance agents, how many people work in Karachi? You know that thing, right? So there is something radically happening around but the problem is that our ego and appetite is so much more we can't do work from home because we don't have fun until we don't do 8-10 people in the morning I saw two or four people and I saw a software that you don't have to say good morning at least that appetite is so much more and this is a practical issue you know Japan the first mutation they had with WC Kamos was that you go to the washroom and you press the button and you don't have water but it was only the sound of it. It's like an appetite satisfaction. You get it my point? It's there. So if you want that salam happening, do it here. But there is something going on here. That's first. So changing as fast as change, that's first challenge. And someone would ask me, what do you want to do this challenge? What do you want to do this challenge? I'm going to do training speaker. The other aspect is Innovation, but innovation from everyone. And now that's another level of depression happening in the organization. You see, yesterday I did a webinar, I mentioned this one example coming from, um, from Evo, I mentioned ITM, but I have now seen with a lot of organizations involving people on the frontier for thought process. 
where they have realized that strategy is not a mandate of CXOs. And those over here are interested in reading me and one conversation about it. The work that Gary Hamill has done around future of management is fantastic. And of course, there is an alternate model to that. But the work that he has done uh, must read about HCL technologies and what they've been doing with reinventing the, the entire framework of how we manage things, where bosses are being rated by subordinates. But that only encourages where we understand that innovation can happen from everyone. I have to give this example. I cannot do without this example. We, I was working with a client. They said, Suhail, and this is the boss, the boss, said, Suhail, I want you to do something on virtual trust building. Virtual trust. Virtual trust. I said, what is that? <laughs> he said, see, we are not working together you know, in one office. Everyone is virtually connected. I want trust to happen. So of course it has to be done virtually. So how we can have virtual trust building? I said, in your office, there is no such a girl or girl who had an online affair <laughs> and then converted into a marriage. He said, must be. I am a head trainer. So <laughs> see how virtual trust building happens. But this is the finest example, right? A great result came out. But that's the idea. This constipation should die that something great would come from a great mind. No. It's now everywhere around us. And it's a great possibility. So that's second challenge. Innovation for everyone. And how organizations are tuning in for that. And I imagine, yaar, hum log ye source we hire talent. And uske baad teen mahinde hum spend karte hai usko corrupt karne mein ke hum yaan karte kaise hai aur aise hi tumko bhi karna hai. Yes or no? So she, that crew, uh, how many of you have designed onboarding programs? I want to see the heads, please. Do I have five more minutes? Yeah? Yes. Onboarding, onboarding program. There is this fantastic joke I used to tell many years ago. Now I don't tell because a lot of HR people got upset. <laughs> but now I honestly don't care if they are again share. Uh, it, HR manager themes in the culture. So when she, you know, went up, well, it's the way she spoke with Dalakta, a fictitious work, yeah, full of place, no need. So go for day, those who angels are welcome, kya bula, I am a pushy, we have a car, a prison woman. Which must have fifty fifty, yeah. Finona, I bula, I am a very soft set of that, yeah. Uno, I bata, I am a good janat or those are don't know the thing. फिर आप डिसाइड करना आपको कहाँ जाना है? ऐसा उसमें डिसाइड क्या करना है? जनरल तो कहाँ जाना है? ना गुनाह तो किए होंगे। तो जनरल दो सर दोनों दिखाएंगे। आप डिसाइड करो पहले क्या देखेंगे? आप ठीक है इंटेलिजेंट। इसने कहा आप ऐसा करो मुझे पहले दो सर में डाल दो। क्योंकि इसको पता था और so, Sare company wale, family wale, dost, Muni Sheila, I don't know Pariza, everyone was there. Or sign up pe iPhone 13 bhi tha. With a 10 GB per second connection, she said, Mavyo ka beda gara. Ye to kamal jaga. Aur wo din kaan nikal gaya, us bichari ka us ko pata hi nahi chala. Ab ye sooch rahi thi ki, yaar, dozat aisi hai, to jannat mein kaisi kaisi ho gaya. Next day, jannat mein gai, to self-operated doors thai. Andar gai, apna koi nahi tha, thode par Japanese hi thai. Ishara alag mein aap samaj gaya. दूध की नहरे भरी थी, दूध ये पीती नहीं थी, और घूरे थी, उसका ये क्या करती? तो वो सब वाले दिन भी टफ थे, बहुत मुश्किल से वो दिन खत्म हुआ। फिर जब खत्म हो गया तो एंजल्स ने पूछा कि मैडम फिर क्या फैसला किया आपने? उसने कहा अच्छी बनाई आपने, जनक भी अच्छी बनाई, गुड। बट अब क्या she said, Paka, join me later. Sign up. 
अगले दिन जब दोषक में जाना वही सीन था जो मौलवी ने बताया था आग में और सारा वही प्रोसीजर चल रहा तो ये नहीं इसमें तो तुम्हारी ऐसी तो कैसी ये क्या है तो मैं वो हमने ओरिएंटेशन रखा हुआ था and once we hire them we tell them park it parcel it now we'll tell you what to do with it and i think that's that i had the opportunity of working with him and i saw him trying everything that is possible and that he can do and even if he can't do learn that is beautiful that is what you know sustains people ask me yesterday i did this webinar someone asked me how to retain people i said why the hell you want to retain them just engage them When the goal is wrong, I want to retain. Why you want to retain? The why? मैं चाहता हूँ हम यहाँ भी कितने आर से हैं, लेकिन इस तरह की कोई हरकत में करूँ करे, how many? It won't work, right? Last is the four values. The values आपको पता है मैं तो उसपे ज़्यादा बात करने का ज़रूरत नहीं है. Values माशाल्लाह हमारी wall decoration के लिए एक बहुत important चीज़ है. और उससे बहुत अच्छी लगती है काफी बट आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट फोर वैल्यूज दैट आई थिंक विल सस्टेन एज वी मूव इन टू फ्यूचर एंड दीज आर फोर वैल्यूज बोरोड फ्रॉम वेब वेब एंड आई थिंक दीज फोर वैल्यूज आर ब्रिलियंट बिकॉज एक हमारा एक बड़ा अलमिया ये रहा है कि हमें कुछ भी बताए ना वेब हमको लगता है वैब ने तो हमारी वैल्यूज को तबाह कर दिया है नहीं जी वैब ने आपकी वैल्यूज को तबाह नहीं कर दिया है ऑलरेडी तबाह शुदा वैल्यूज को एक्सपोज कर दिया है थोड़ा कॉन्टेक्स को सही रखें है ना कोविड ने जो है ना रिलेशनशिप्स को खराब कर दिया नहीं जी पहले भी मट्टी पाई हुई थी रिलीजन रिलेशन में पूरा दिन एक दूसरे को देखते नहीं थे इसलिए माशाला टॉलरेट किया हुआ था अब पूरा दिन देख रहे एक्सपोज किया है कोविड ने क्या बुरा किया है इवन हेल्थ वाइज कल हम जब ना आते किसी ने कहा कि हेल्थ को तो खराब किया है इवन हेल्थ को नहीं खराब किया है हेल्थ पे भी उसको वहां असर किया जो पहले से खराब था इफ यू नो व्हाट कोविड डेड इट इंपैक्टेड दोस एरियाज व्हिच वर ऑलरेडी वीक दे इट जस्ट एक्सपोज्ड इट एंड दैट इज व्हाट हैज हैपेंड सो हियर आर फोर वैल्यूज फॉर यू टू थिंक अबाउट इट बिकॉज़ फॉर सच कॉन्फ्रेंसेस माय जॉब इज टू जस्ट थ्रो थॉट्स एंड गेट लॉस्ट फर्स्ट इज ओपननेस वेब has always demonstrated this great value of openness when you share when it's open you come you don't need a permission you come you share your thing if it works works if it doesn't work go back and create something else and come again simple right how many of you are regular with posting on linkedin raise your hand a lot of time a lot of people like it and share it and talk to about it और कितनी दफा ऐसा हुआ है कि आपने तो बहुत फजूल बात देखी जो बड़ी ट्रेवल की और कभी आपके हिसाब से बहुत इंटेलिजेंट बात थी और आपके अलावा मंजूरीला किसी ने लाइक नहीं किया उसको एंड यू फील डिप्रेस बट दैट्स व्हाट इट इज इट इज नॉट गिविंग क्रेडिट टू हाउ इंटेलिजेंट यू आर इट्स अबाउट हाउ अदर्स फील अबाउट इट दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट्स फर्स्ट ओपननेस इज अ ग्रेट वैल्यू वेयर हैज टॉट अस सेकंड मेरिटोक्रेसी मेरिटोक्रेसी नॉट अथॉरिटी नॉट पोजीशन नॉट टेन्योर मेरिटोक्रेसी on the scale of merit where you stand you may be you may have started tomorrow only but on merit where you stand if you stand right up there fantastic take it up third is flexibility covid gave us an opportunity you know flexible but we thought of flexible as work from home it's not work from home but it is not having constipation when someone works from home you will really? it's not work from home work from home is not the question who said work from home is the question the pro i remember i but kya chale aadhe logo ke naam le sakta hu i did a program for ke what a full organization but this happened 2019 i did a program on innovation in innovation program 
run there is an exercise we do po po i learned it from edward de bono po is provocative imagination so give them a situation which is apparently impossible and let them do thinking around it okay so i said po the ultraviolet rays creates an ambiance that you cannot get out of your home how did you manage pain so there were some old babas they said ek to aap trainers ka masla ye ki aapko kaam ki hamari noyat pata hai nahi aur apni apni training de rahe aapko tumne kaha hum ghar se baat nahi karenge chale ka kaise main to ye isi liye maine po kaha hai sir unhone mere po ka po kar diya wo to phir march ke 28 29 tarikh ko un बुजुर्ग बाद में से एक का फोन आया उसको कहा ये तुम मिले तो नहीं हो यहूदी लॉबी से <laughs> क्योंकि अभी भी उसको यहूदी लॉबी में ढक जा रहा था पो इज नाउ रेयर मोर देन एवर बिफोर एवर बिफोर राइट सो थर्ड एलिमेंट इज फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी हैव लर्न फ्रॉम द वर्क दैट वेब हैज गिवन टू अस ऑफ थ्री वैल्यूज ओपननेस we talked about meritocracy we talked about flexibility but last but not the least is collaboration and i don't know how many of you had this opportunity to see abhi work from home hua tha hai lekin pata hai kya unfortunately ho sakta hai asif sahab ko to ye khayal dimag mein aa gaya ho lekin phir approval pe bichare khwar ho gaye ho ke yaar jab work from home hi karna hai to skill bechna hai to skill ka marketing consultant अगर कोई इंडियन मिल जाए जिसने थोड़ा बहुत मित्तल के साथ काम किया हो तो क्या ही बात हो जाएगी वो मुंबई में बैठा है कि गुलशन में बैठा है सानो की बट दिस इज नाउ हैपनिंग एंड दिस विल कंटिन्यू हैपन बिग टाइम कोलैबोरेशन इज अनबल यू हैव सीन म्यूजिशियंस प्रेजेंटिंग ग्रेट नंबर्स विदाउट इवन मीटिंग It was there, they were there. He played guitar, he did this, she did that, and they came up with something which was remarkable. And I think that is a great opportunity that Web is offering us. So, in terms of jobs, yes, certainly we have to look at jobs not from the way we have looked at, from the sense of efficiency, from the sense of do what I've been telling you to do, not from the sense of painter, but from the sense of innovation, from the same sense of artist. And remembering this thing. that picasso cannot produce a masterpiece if he had to deliver before lunch today so that it can be presented to the boss but having said that this culture can't happen tomorrow and that's where i want to conclude on a rational point this won't happen tomorrow but few good deeds can start today and i think that will gradually contribute to changing the flow of course humko apni haisiyat apni position aur apna stake dekhna padta hai and for that i can prove with a story there was this fantastic businessman big shot he booked a first class ticket get got into the plane and there was a parrot sitting next to him is it parrot there's no error she said usha bhai ye kiska hai bola ye shekh saab ka hai aap sab ka shekh ka parrot to शेख का पेरेट है बात बात करता है बहुत ये फर्स्ट क्लास में ट्रेवल करता है बैठ गया आदमी क्या करता थोड़ी देर में देखा कि जो पेरेट था इसने थोड़ी गाली गलोज की और बोला कि मुझे वाइन चाहिए तो ये रोज ने उसको वाइन सर्व की तो इसने कहा कि मुझे भी तो, तो बोला सर आप तो समझता है थोड़ा पेंट टेक ऑफ करें फिर आपको देता हूँ इसने भी वाइन खत्म की इसने कहा वाइन तो कॉमन बात मेरे को वॉट का सही रहता है वो उसने उसको रिक्वेस्ट की इसने वापस गाली गलोच स्लैंग्स तो फिर वापस उसको सर्व की तो उसके साथ बैठा तो उसने कहा मुझे भी दे दो तो सर आपको तो समझ था आपने टेक ऑफ किया तो इसको वो ब्रेड और बटर चाहिए था इसने वापस थोड़ा लाउड माउथ हुआ तो इसको ला के दे दिया तो बिजनेस मैन ने कहा मुझे भी नहीं बोला सर आप तो समझ रहा है सर्व कर ही नहीं इसने कहा ये ना ऐसे चले जा रहे तो इसने भी थोड़ी गालियाँ बन दी तो इसको भी दे दिया अब जब इसने बोली तो तोते ने अपनी गाड़ियों की क्वालिटी को इम्प्रूव किया कंपटीशन बड़ा इंटेंस हो गया ये यहां जाता तो ये बेंच मार्क को और रेस करता यू नो बेंच मार्किंग इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट सब ऊपर हो जाता थोड़ी देर बाद ये एयर होस्टेस और ये पागल हो गई ये भी पायलट के पास बोला हमसे नहीं बोला बोला फिर क्या करो उसको निकालो बोलो बात 
वो आई उसने दोनों को उठा के मार फेंक दिया गिरने लगा बिजनेस में तो तोते ने कहा यार मेरे पास पर थे इसकी मैं चौड़ा हो Of course, see you on Friday and then we'll get God bless you all. Thank you.